We recognize that the Holocaust shook the foundations of modern civilization. Its unprecedented character and horror will always hold universal meaning. We believe the Holocaust must have a permanent place in our national collective memory. We honour the survivors still with us and reaffirm our shared goals of mutual understanding and justice. We must make sure that future generations understand the causes of the Holocaust and re reflect upon its consequences. We vow to remember the victims of Nazi persecution and all genocide. We value the sacrifices of those who have risked their lives to protect or rescue victims. As a touchstone of human capacity for good in the face of all evil. We recognise that humanity is still scarred by the belief that race, religion, disability or sexuality makes some people's lives worth less than others. Genocide and anti-Semitism, racism, xenophobia and discrimination still continue. We have a shared responsibility to fight these evils. We pledge to strengthen our efforts to promote education and research about the Holocaust and other genocide. We'll do our utmost to make sure that the lessons of such events are fully learned. We will continue to encourage Holocaust remembrance by holding an annual UK Holocaust Memorial Day. We condemn the evils of prejudice, discrimination, racism, we value a free, tolerant and democratic society. The theme of Holocaust Memorial Day 2022 is One Day. It's an intentionally open theme which can be interpreted in a number of ways and gives each of us much to think about. In thinking about One Day, we can consider the horrors that can and have occurred over a relatively short period of time. Sadly, there are countless 24-hour periods we can point to. Days where dictator or terrorism regimes take control of an area or country. Days when children see their parents for the last time. Days when horrendous massacres take place, where hundreds and even thousands of people lose their lives as a result of systematic killings. Days we hope are never repeated. Days where we learn and commit to do everything in our powers to ensure these atrocities can never be repeated. Another way of reflecting today is to think about someday, a phrase that asks us to look into the future with a sense of optimism, with hope that things can and will be different and better when time passes and circumstances change. By reflecting on Holocaust Memorial Day through this lens, we think of the distance we have already come and leaving behind the hatred and lack of empathy that has enabled genocides of the past, as well as the actions we can take in the present moment to move closer towards that day, to make it real and achievable, not just distant utopia. I encourage those watching this service to join us in reflection of Holocaust Memorial Day by light a candle of remembrance in your home on Thursday the 27th of January. Every one of us can play a role in creating a world where compassion and tolerance is the default. One day is within our reach. Holocaust Memorial Day is a time for us to reflect on the atrocities of the Holocaust and subsequent genocides, and critically, for us to learn from them. It's a time to reaffirm our commitment to reject intolerance and discrimination in all of its forms. Holocaust Memorial Day is just one day out of 365 in the year, but it's an important reminder of dark times in our collective history. 
Whether you're able to join our virtual service today or you watch it after this day of remembrance, I hope that you can take the opportunity to reflect on the lives lost through genocide, on the ideas and prejudices that enable them to thrive. By doing so, we can all better recognise and stamp out the seeds of potential future atrocities. Hello, I'm Father Mark Mawinney. I'm the priest in charge at St Hilda's in the Marketplace and at St Michael's on the Wester Road. Earlier this month, I was visiting family in Texas in the United States. And on Saturday, January the 15th, a news story developed on the national news channels, which I followed from my hotel room in San Antonio. A standoff had developed with local police after a religious service was disrupted at the congregation Beth Israel in Colleyville near Dallas in Fort Worth. A person had taken four people hostage at the synagogue, including a rabbi. One of the hostages was released after six hours, but more than 10 hours after the siege began, the FBI stormed the synagogue to free the remaining hostages. The person who made this attack on a Texas synagogue was Malik Akram, a British national visiting the United States from Burnley in Lancashire. The British Foreign Secretary Liz Truss condemned the incident in a statement in which she said, my thoughts are with the Jewish community and all those affected by the appalling act in Texas. The theme for Holocaust Memorial Day 2022 is one day. There are many ways to interpret this theme, but unfortunately for those attending their home synagogue near Dallas less than two weeks ago, this one day was one of trauma, fear and persecution. Holocaust Memorial Day takes place on the 27th of January each year and it's a time to remember the millions of people murdered during the Holocaust under Nazi persecution and in the genocides which followed in Cambodia, Rwanda, Bosnia and Darfur. Holocaust Memorial Day is a time when we seek to learn the lessons of the past and recognise that genocide does not just take place on its own. It's a steady process which can begin if discrimination, racism and hatred are not checked and prevented. The events in Texas a little more than 10 days ago show us that prejudices still exist, which threaten our society and that we must do all we can to eradicate hatred and discrimination in our local communities and beyond.